All right, man. So I got to ask you, growing up, who were some of your favorite players? Ooh, some of my favorite players. Yeah. I would say Evan Longoria, Derek Jeter, Scott Rowland, Torrey Hunter, um, to name a few for sure, uh, and Adrian Beltre. I like that. I like that. So I do this question called Mount Rushmore. Okay. And you got to do your Mount Rushmore for third baseman. All time in your perspective. So who will be your Mount Rushmore for third baseman? Well, I'm going to have to go based off of what I've seen. Uh, so I'm going to. I'll probably get uh, criticized here, but obviously Mike Schmidt is like, you know, the top of the top, you know, and Brooks Robinson. But from my perspective, from what I've seen, I'd probably have to say Nolan Arenado, uh, Manny Machado, Evan Longoria, Scott Rowland, uh, and Adrian Beltre. Like that. that's, a, that's a nice list. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna argue that. By the way, yeah. <laughs> um, shout out to the you know two of the two of the goats, but you know the five current ones that I've seen. You know, so I gotta ask you, man, defensively, man, you you're a magician when you do this, man. I watch you do your do your work in the field and stuff. You take pride in defense, man. Can you talk about that and how to be a third baseman? What is the most important thing in your opinion defensively? For sure. Um, for me, uh, defense is huge because it's something that you know I feel like I'm you know really good at. And it's something that, you know, even when I'm not swinging the bat maybe the way I want to, I can still help the team win the game and help, uh, you know, just being out there sometimes is enough to help the team, you know, help the team by making a play or just, you know, finding other ways to impact the game without just your bat. But for me, uh, you know, something that I think really helps me at third base is just moving my feet, being ready, you know, when the pitch is crossing through the zone, always being ready and keep your feet moving because you can make adjustments at third base. You're kind of always going to have weird hops, but don't be afraid to move your feet and use one hand. I love that. I love that. So I play video games. I got to ask you this. The first time you saw yourself on a video game, what did you think? Obviously, it's MLB The Show, but what do you think? Uh, it's pretty cool. It's a trip to see yourself on a video game. Uh, you know, I got I to gotta keep getting better so I can get that rating up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got we to work on that. They need to work on that. They, you should be able to go automatically, defensive automatically. But, you know, I do this course called walk-up song. So obviously, you see Edwin Diaz, the players getting their themes off. But I got to ask you. If it was a song called Matt Chapman, any artist dead or alive can do the song for you. Who you want to do your walk-up song? Ooh. Wow. Yeah. The song's yeah. called Matt Chapman. Yeah. I mean, there's so many that come to my head, but I might just have to go Kendrick Lamar. I like that. I like that. I like that. Kendrick Lamar, okay. So, Fanag's view question of the day. What is your favorite baseball movie of all time? My favorite baseball movie of all time. It's probably The Sandlot. Sandlot. I love that movie because it reminds me of being a little kid. But if I didn't pick a kid movie, it'd probably be like Bull Durham. I like that. I like that. Last question. So if Matt Chapman was in a movie, but they couldn't use the real Matt Chapman, who would you want to play Matt Chapman in a movie to represent you? Ooh. Well, I think, I think everybody would probably want Brad Pitt to play them, right? Billy Bean got Brad yeah. Pitt to play him in a movie. He loved it. He feels himself for that one. Uh, <laughs> But him or Christian Bale is probably my favorite actor, so I wouldn't mind either one of them. I love it. I love it. You know, actually, one more question. So, Blue Jays, obviously leaving Oakland for many years, and you were a staple in Oakland. Coming to this Blue Jays team, the roster is, is stacked. What do you see from the potential of this team? Just, I mean, there's so much potential. I mean, I think we have a lot of youth on our team, which is great. Um, you know, it keeps it exciting. They're, these, you know, guys are still, you know, I feel like I'm still learning in this game. But, you know, a lot of these young guys, they're only in their second or third season. So they're still learning a lot. But the talent, the potential is there. The, the want to, you know, be better is there. So it's just exciting to see how much these guys have grown over the course of the year. And honestly, you know, I feel like we're just starting to scratch the surface of what we're capable of. So that's what excites me the most is, you know, we're playing our best baseball at the end of the year, which is huge. And I just think that, uh, you know, on any given day, you know, there's not a team that, you know, is going to want to match up with us. So obviously we got our work cut out for us. There's a ton of good teams out there. But, you know, I, I feel like, you know, this team's capable of, uh, you know, going a long way. And we're going to give anybody a tough run. Man, man, I appreciate your time, man. Congratulations on everything. Hopefully by this time next year we're going to be talking about that World Series ring that you got. All right, man, man. Appreciate you now. Thank, Thank you. you.